UK.finance, we bring fintech products to life. Introducing the updated mobile payment app from SDK.finance, your branded front-end for modern financial services. This is the latest version, available as of May 2025. Users can quickly register by entering their email or phone number and accepting the app's privacy policy and terms of use. A capture may appear during sign-up or security-sensitive actions, just complete it to proceed. Next, they verify their account using a code sent to their email. Once verified, they create a secure password and set a PIN. To complete onboarding and pass KYC, users enter personal details like name, date of birth, and address. They then upload identity documents such as a passport, tax ID, or utility bill. Once verified, users can create their first account by choosing a name and selecting a currency. Once verified, users can log in with their email or phone number and password. After logging in, they're prompted to set a new PIN code. The dashboard provides an overview of financial activity, showing account balances across multiple currencies and recent transactions. Key actions like top-ups, withdrawals, and currency exchanges are accessible from one place. Users can also view their total balance in a preferred currency, such as USD or EUR. Tapping on any account reveals its details, including balance, IBAN, and the option to share or download a PDF with account info. Accounts can be blocked or unblocked from this screen. To request a statement, users choose a date range under Statements and Reports, taps Prepare Statement, and receive a notification once it's ready for download. All accounts, active or inactive, are listed under View All Accounts, with block status and reason shown. From here, users can also create new accounts. The app supports transfers to IBANs, in-system accounts, saved contacts, and your own accounts. Let's start with an IBAN transfer. Enter the recipient's IBAN, payment amount, and purpose. Select the account to send money from, the system will automatically calculate the transfer fee. Add the recipient's name and, if needed, their SWIFT or BIC code. To confirm the transfer, Use your app PIN or biometric authentication such as Face ID or Fingerprint. You can also send money to contacts by selecting their account from your contact list. Tap Sender to view contacts who are registered in the system, then choose a recipient and their account. Next, select your source account, enter the amount, and the transfer fee will be calculated automatically. The app also supports cross-currency transfers, for example, sending funds from a euro wallet to a contact's USD wallet. Users can also transfer money between their own accounts. Users can create, save, and reuse templates to speed up future transactions. After completing a payment, simply tap Save as Template. To use it later, go to the Templates tab and select the saved entry. This is especially useful for recurring payments. You can also view a list of recent transactions, complete with full details for each operation. Adding funds is quick and easy. Users can top up their balance via bank transfer, cash, or card. In the Add Money section, they enter the amount and choose a payment method. For bank transfers, a list of available accounts is shown. Account details can also be exported as a PDF and saved to the device. To top up with cash, users can find nearby cash desks using the Located Near Me feature, view them on the map, and submit a request. Card top-ups are also supported, just select a provider and complete the transaction. Users with multi-currency wallets can exchange funds between accounts using the built-in currency exchange feature. Clients can request payments easily by generating a QR code or payment link within the app. The recipient just scans the code or taps the link, no manual input needed. The payment is processed instantly. 
When it's time to withdraw funds, clients enter the amount, choose a cash desk nearest to them and submit the request. The transactions page offers a full history of all operations, with filters by date, account, type, category, and more. Users can view details, assign categories like withdrawal via bank, and add edit or delete notes. Each transaction also supports chat, enabling users to message support, share documents, and download files for reference. In the profile section, users manage personal info, security settings, and app preferences. They can upload an avatar, check KYC status, and update login details. Document upload history is available, and new files, like proof of address, can be added anytime. Pending approvals are clearly marked. Notification preferences can be customized for email or SMS alerts on key actions. Security options include two-factor authentication, biometric login, and password updates. Users can also switch between available languages in the app settings. For any assistance, users can visit the support section where they can find essential contact details, including a phone number and email address. They also have the option to start a new chat with the support team directly within the app. If the user loses access to the registered phone number, they can initiate a phone number change request. The user is asked to upload identity documents, for example, a passport and a selfie, to verify their identity. Once the documents are submitted, the user enters a new phone number. A verification code is sent to this number and must be entered to complete the process. After submission, a confirmation message appears and the request is forwarded to the compliance team for review and approval. Users can close any of their accounts from the account details screen by selecting Close Account. If the account balance is zero, it can be closed immediately. If there are remaining funds, the app will prompt the user to transfer the balance to another of their accounts. Once the transfer is confirmed, the original account will be closed automatically. Users can also close their profile from the app settings. Before doing so, all associated accounts must be closed. Once all accounts are closed, go to Settings and select Close Profile. After confirming, the profile will be deactivated, the user will be logged out, and further login will no longer be possible. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, our team is here to help. We'll be glad to walk you through how the SDK.Finance mobile app can be tailored to fit your business requirements. SDK.Finance We bring fintech products to life.